Yeah, wanna know what it's like Life. Baby, show me what it's like Life. I don't want to fight no tights Life. I just wanna fuck all night Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Baby, mm. I need to know mm. Oh. Mm. I just been fantasizing mm. And we got a lot of time mm. Baby, come throw the pipe Gotta know what it's like Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. What's up, Pisces, and welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Pisces out there are doing well. So, you guys, this is going to be just a general. We're going to pull some messages and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Now, if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal or anything else you want to know about me, will be in the description box below. All right, Pisces, let's go. Let's go on and get into it. So the first energy we have here is someone who is afraid, okay? Someone is afraid to let you down once you get to know them, okay? So someone here could have been wearing a mask. And maybe this person wore a mask because they feel like if you really got to know the real them, that shit, you'd be like, uh-uh, this ain't going to work, okay? They were afraid for you to let them see the real you. I mean, they were afraid that you would see the real them. I don't want to disappoint you, so I avoid you, okay? So someone could be avoiding you because they feel that they're going to be a disappointment to you. They feel like they really let down their guard and show you who they truly are, that you're going to be disappointed in some type of way. I have to overcome this in myself, and I see you before me, okay? So someone here has to overcome this fear that they have before you and them can come together, okay? Before someone here feels like they're ready to progress or advance in this connection, Someone here needs to let go. They need to overcome being afraid. Now, whoever this person was that was wearing this mask, Pisces, and who didn't want you to see the real them, okay? They wish that they can be a different person. So it's like this person really doesn't even like who they are themselves. And it's like, hell, if you don't like yourself, how are you going to expect anybody else to like you, right? So this is someone who really was afraid to take off this mask and show you who they truly were because they feared that you would not like the real them okay and they really wish they can be a different person they wish they didn't have to lie to you and and you know not be able to reveal to you who they truly are because the person that you've seen them be like that's not how this person is for some of you you don't block this person things have been revealed to you about this person or you just ain't interested in reconnecting or hearing anything that this person has to say so that you block them you know what i'm saying you you don't want to talk to them at this time i feel like there's a lot of painful memories so it's kind of like that six of cups energy it's like when you think about the past when you think about the memories and the things that you experience with this person like those aren't good memories you know it's a lot of painful memories and it's easier for you to block this person it's easier to block out these memories you know than to talk to this person you know if you had better memories with this person better times better experiences you know you may be willing to talk to them and hear them out but because I feel like these painful, these memories that you have with them are just too painful. Like, you just don't want to talk to them, okay? The emotions and the feelings that you have, like, it's, it's overwhelming, okay? The pain from the past is really, really overwhelms you. And I feel like it's kind of hard. It makes it difficult to face those pains. It makes it difficult to face this person because they were the one who inflicted this pain over you, okay? Now, whoever this person is, Pisces, they are not healing from their past. So this is someone who went through something from their past. They could have been hurt by someone from their past or something that they've experienced from their past, okay? They're not healing. They're not letting it go, okay? They're not letting go so they can fully, fully love you. First, they have to fully love themselves, and they need to fully love you. They don't have any hope. They're not healing any childhood traumas. And because of this, they can't receive sending healing in a healing energy. Okay, so you could be trying to send this person some healing energy. Maybe you're speaking positivity to them, you know, saying, Lord, please help this person on their journey, you know, trying to help them on this path. But it's like they can't even receive those messages. They can't receive that healing energy that you're trying to send them because they refuse to heal. This is someone who just continues to hold on to the past. Remember, they're afraid. I feel like they're really afraid of change. Because when you change yourself, when you change things about you, you have to be able to face your fears. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able to confront those reasons of why you're scared and why you are the way that you are, okay? And I feel like for some of you, their childhood trauma 
it's just too painful. Like someone here experienced a lot of childhood trauma, like something from their childhood could be what's holding this person's back, holding this person back. Okay. This was keeping this person from embarking on this journey and going through this change. Okay. And this is why this person isn't able to heal from their past. And this is why some of you aren't able to communicate or talk to this person because if they haven't healed from their past, all they're going to do is, is hurt you. Now, even though this person has not healed from their past, they still want to send you this message of love, okay? They think about you all the time, even though they can't be with you, okay? They miss you every day, every night. They're curious to know what you got going on, who you doing it with. They want to know how your day going. They want to know, do you think about them? And they have the urge to reach out to you. And they keep promising you, you know, they keep sending you this energy that they're going to do this and they're going to do that. They want to send this message of love. But some of you, they can't get through because they block. Okay. For some of you, they are still the same person. So their intentions for you are not pure. They didn't have pure intentions for you back then, and they don't have pure intentions for you right now. The reason why some of you this person can't reach out is because they're dealing with legal matters. Okay. Someone here could be going through a divorce. Maybe they had some criminal charges. Maybe they're just going through child support. Maybe something as small as a traffic ticket. Whatever this person is going through, these legal matters. They're having to go before a judge. So this person may not be able to reach out, may not be able to communicate to you right now because they're going through some things, okay? A divorce, paternity, they're trying to find out if a child is there. It's like there's a lot going on. And for some of you, this is your divine masculine. Whatever this person has going on in their life, they're losing a lot of sleep, okay? These emotions they have, it's overwhelming them. They're worried about something. Maybe they're worried about, you know, this divorce or worried about this child is theirs, okay? They're replaying some type of events that's going on in their life or something that happened at one point in time. And they're also thinking about you. And they're wondering for some of you guys, is it going to be too late? Like once they get this divorce, you know, once they get all their ducks in a row and get everything settled in their life, is it going to be too late to return to you? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of you, they got to heal. And because they're refusing to heal from their past or some type of childhood trauma that they've experienced, like they can't return, okay? But they feel like when it when they return, is it going to be too late? And for some of you, this person is staying away, okay? They're avoiding you because they know that they've already hurt you and they don't want to inflict any more pain onto you, okay? And this is why this person think about you. They wonder about you, wonder what you're doing, who you're doing it with, but they are refusing to heal. All right, 717 could be very significant for you guys. So let's see who this reading is about for my Pisces, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about? All right, so you can be dealing with another Pisces, heavy Leo, Taurus. We have Aquarius, Sash, Taurus, and Virgo. We have heavy Sash and Scorpio. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.